Good day, and welcome to Hiroshima University's English Podcast. Hi, everyone. It's great to have you here. I'm Joe. And I'm Perlene. Perlene, I have a question for you. Yes. Do you like to go to the ocean? Yes, I love to go to the ocean. Uh huh, me too. How often do you go to the ocean?、Mm, let's see. I go twice a year. Twice a year. Yes. Okay. How about you, Joe? How often do you go to the sea? I go to the sea about once every two weeks. Oh, a that's lot, right. right? That's once、nice. every two weeks,、uh, <laughs> especially near Higashi Hiroshima, there's a place called Takehara, and they have a very good beach there.、Mm. I like to go there. Today, we're talking about the ocean, everyone. Yay, yay, yay. Yay. Mina san, konnichiwa. Kyo no tema wa, Mina san ga natsu ni na ta ra daiski ni na ru, umi no koto ni tsuite hana shite iko to moimas. Umi ni wa ta ku san iki mono ga ari mas yo ne. Mina san wa sakano no na mai o eigo de ie mas ka. Kyo wa quiz kei shiki de iki mono no setsume o suru no de. Okay, everyone, there are five questions. Can you say them all in English? I will describe them and you need to say what they are. Okay, ready? Okay. If you get all five, you can become a marine biologist, <laughs> maybe, right? Yes, hopefully. That's right. Okay, number one, everyone, this is a pretty easy one. You should be able to get this one, okay?、Um, these are mammals, they're not fish. Yes, these are mammals, and everybody wants to swim with them. Right? Everybody, can you already guess what this animal is in the ocean?、Mm. Another interesting thing about these animals, these mammals, is that they stay with their mothers for three to eight years, a、mm, long time, right? Long. They, the babies really like their mothers, right? <laughs> Okay, everyone, you know what this a- animal is?、Uh, again, people like to swim with them. The final answer, the answer is? The answer is dolphins. Iruka desu. That's right, dolphins. Everybody, you must ha- say the S there. If you、yes. only said dolphin, you do not get credit for this. Boo, boo. <laughs> I was talking about they and all this stuff. You must say the S. Very important. Okay, dolphins.、Yes. Okay. Dolphins. Number two here.、Uh, this is also a pretty easy one. I think you all should get this one here.、Mm. These animals have eight legs. A- actually, they're not really all legs.、Uh, actually, it's called six arms and two legs, okay? But、oh. the key number here is eight, okay? Eight. Okay. And also, these animals are very smart. They're smart animals.、Mm. Uh, they're good at solving problems and remembering the, how to do the solution.、Mm. Right? They're good at solving problems and remembering the solutions. And also, these animals they like to take things apart for fun.、Mm. ババララね、yeah, they like to take things apart. For fun. Hmm, what could that be? Everyone, again, the key hint here was they have like、uh, eight legs, the number eight, right? Okay, you got、number、the answer,、eight. everybody? Can you say it? Okay. And the answer is? The answer is octopuses. Tako desu. Right, octopuses. Everyone got that one right? Did you get two correct so far? Okay, the third one here. These animals in the ocean, they have big shells around them,、mm. a shell around them, right? Actually, they cannot put their heads or arms inside the shell. They cannot put their heads or arms inside the shell. Okay. And one more thing about these animals is that they love to eat jellyfish. Jellyfish, kurage desu. Right, they love to eat jellyfish, so sometimes they eat plastic. They think that the plastic is the jellyfish. Oh, Too bad. Oh, no. <laughs> right, right. Okay, everyone, you got this? The, the, the key hint, of course, is that they have shells around them、mm-hmm. and they're very big.、And、the answer is? The answer is sea turtles. Right,、Umigame、sea、des. turtles. Right, sea turtles. Everyone get that pronunciation right, turtles. Okay, you getting all these right? Number four here, we've only got two left here. Number four,、uh, these are small animals and they look like horses. That's a key hint、mm. here. They look like horses、mm. and they mate for life. Oh, it's the same partner. 
right? They mate for life. The man and the woman, the male and the female, they、mm-hmm. stay until they die, right? And also very interesting is that the males they have little pouches or pockets in the front of them by their stomach,、mm-hmm. like kangaroo, right? And the female puts the eggs in the male's pouch. Wow. Right, okay, you got this animal already? Again, the key hint here is that they look like horses. The answer is? The answer is seahorses. Yes,、yeah, seahorses. Easy English name, right? Okay, the final one here for the million dollar question. Maybe we'll give you a million dollars. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> This is a little bit more difficult. Can you get it? These、uh, pretty big fish. They have long pointed things on the top of their head.、Mm. Very long, sharp things on the top of their head. They're, they're not really noses. They're not a nose, right? It looks、mm-hmm. like a nose, but it's just a long pointed thing. And they, with this long pointed thing, they slash at the prey. That's right. So they slash at the prey. And they try to injure the prey so that the prey slows down, then they can eat it, right?、Mm. Okay, everyone, you got this answer here? The big fish with long pointed things on the top of their head? The answer is? The answer is swordfish. Mekajiki des. Right, swordfish. So they, like a sword, right? Very easy in English, right? <laughs> <Yes> . Probably harder in Japanese, right? Yes. Mina san wa. ご問全部正解できたでしょうかできた人はきっと生物の専門家になれると思います。今日のダイアログは前回船を乗り間違え目的地に着かなかった彼女がもう一度船に乗りリベンジを試みる会話となっています。彼女が無事にリベンジに成功できるのか聞いてみましょう。それでは、Let's listen at slow speed. I really love the sea. Excuse me, is this your first time sailing, ma'am? Oh, hello there, young man. It's actually my second time. How about you? Is this your first time? No, ma'am. I've been sailing the seas since I was little. My dad. Used to be the captain of this ship. Wonderful. You must love the sea so much then. Or are you bored of seeing it almost every day? <laughs> I never get bored to see the wonderful blue sea. Oh, look, dolphins. Wow. Lucky me. This second sea sail is so much better than my first. Oh, you had a problem during your first sea sail? It was a nightmare. I was supposed to go to East Island, but the ship I rode went to West Island, a thousand miles in the wrong direction. A waste of time. In the end, I used a plane to get to East Island. By the way, would you introduce me to the captain of this ship, please? I want to ask where we are now. Actually, you are talking with the captain already. Wow, you are the youngest captain I've ever met. So, captain. Where are we right now? Well, we'll arrive at our destination soon, in around five minutes. Wonderful. I'm excited to explore West Island this time. Last time I only visited the West Island Airport. Hmm? I'm sorry, ma'am, but did you just say. West Island? Yes, I said West Island. We are arriving at West Island soon, right? No, ma'am. We're arriving at East Island. You rode the wrong ship again. What? I made a mistake again? 
Ah, in the end, you were not so lucky at all. Oh no, she got on the wrong boat again. Yes. <laughs> not very smart, eh?、Uh. <laughs> 今日のダイアログは海が大好きだと彼女が言うことから始まります。船に乗るのは初めてですかと彼は丁寧な口調で彼女に呼びかけ、質問をします。ここで彼女が海が大好きだと言うんですけど、the sea という風に the がついています。Right, everybody noticed oceans and seas usually almost always you, you must put the. For example, the Pacific Ocean. Yes. Or the Seto Inland Sea. Seto Nai Kai Bis. Right, the Seto Inland Sea is beautiful. Yes. But Joe, the title is called Lost at Sea, and there is no the. A very good point, p e r l i n e <laughs> Actually, this lost at sea is kind of a set phrase, okay?、Mm. To be lost at sea. For example,、uh, that boat was lost at sea and nobody could find it, right? Like、mm. that. Or that person was lost at sea,、uh, he kind of disappeared. So that's a set expression, but in almost all other cases, you must say the sea.、Mm. For example, last summer I went to the sea or the ocean. It's the same. Narodo. To be lost at sea, do you know what? 決まった表現なんですねそして「船に乗るのは初めてですか?」と彼は丁寧な口調で彼女に呼びかけ質問をします呼びかける時に「マーム」と言うんですけどこの「マーム」っていうのは女性一般に対する丁寧な呼びかけです Right, especially、uh, like for example a hotel worker would say this to the customer like that、mm-hmm. Or, or just any company,、uh, they can say it to the female customer.、Uh, ma'am, it's very polite.、Yes. Also, of course, if you use the person's name, if you know the person's name, that's also very polite. So, the dancing is a very polite thing. Joe, what is a polite way to call for a man? I think everybody knows. Do you all know the answer? The answer is sir. Sir, yes.、Right? That's so we have ma'am and sir. Yes. Very easy, right? Yes. So, she said, I was in the East Rand, and I was in the West 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 Rand, For example, you could say,、uh, Yesterday I was supposed to go to the park,、mm. but it rained, so I couldn't go. So, especially with plans like that. So, you can do, use it for the past like that or the future, especially it's used in the future. Tomorrow it's supposed to rain. I heard on the news it will rain. The plan is for rain like that, but we don't really know for, for the future, of course. But, anyways, it's especially talking about plans. So, this is the last thing. Wow, already finished. Very yes, easy today. <laughs> very、right? quick, yes. <laughs> 彼は彼女に自分がこの船の船長であることを伝え、あと5分ぐらいで目的地に到着するよと言います。ここでは around という表現を使っているんですけど、この意味は約とかぐらいという意味です。That's right. Around. Very easy, right? For example, Perlene,、uh, around what time do you eat lunch? I eat lunch around 12. Okay, <laughs> just like everybody else. Yes. Okay, everyone, very easy dialogue. With that, let's listen at natural speed. Ah,、uh, I really love the sea. Excuse me, is this your first time sailing, ma'am? Oh, hello there, young man. It's actually my second time. How about you? Is this your first time? No, ma'am. I've been sailing the seas since I was little. My dad used to be the captain of this ship. Wonderful. You must love the sea so much then. Or are you bored of seeing it almost every day? <laughs> I never get bored to see the wonderful blue sea. Oh, look. Dolphins! Wow! 
Lucky me. This second sea sail is so much better than my first. Oh, you had a problem during your first sea sail? It was a nightmare. I was supposed to go to East Island, but the ship I rode went to West Island, a thousand miles in the wrong direction. A waste of time. In the end, I used a plane to get to East Island. By the way, would you introduce me to the captain of this ship, please? I want to ask where we are now. Actually, you are talking with the captain already. Wow, you are the youngest captain I've ever met. So, captain, where are we right now? Well, we'll arrive at our destination soon. In around five minutes. Wonderful. I'm excited to explore West Island this time. Last time, I only visited the West Island Airport. Hmm? I'm sorry, ma'am. But did you just say West Island? Yes, I said West Island. We are arriving at West Island soon, right? No, ma'am. We're arriving at East Island. You rode the wrong ship again. What? I made a mistake again? Ah, in the end, you were not so lucky at all. Well, everyone, I see that she's still got lost again. She's still、yes. not going to the right <laughs> island, too Very bad. Very sad. <laughs> Right, right. Perlene,、uh, where is the best place you ever went in a boat? The best place I've ever went in a boat is Miyajima Island. Oh, Miyajima in、yes. a boat. Yes, very <laughs> good, very good. How about you, Joe? Where was the best place you've ever been in a boat? Actually, Perlene, one time I went to Alaska. Uh, right, with my family from Vancouver in Canada. Right. Wow. Uh, my, my mother was retiring from her、uh, company,、mm. and she treated all of us in the family my brother, my sister, all the, all the grandchildren she treated us to a cruise ship for one week、mm. from Vancouver, Canada to、uh, Alaska, right? That sounds <laughs>、uh, is very that, is fun. That yeah, is that better than going to Miyajima? I think it's 100 <laughs> Sorry. times better. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Everyone out there. Try to go on a boat to a great place in the near、yes. future, okay? Because especially if you go a- abroad,、uh, you'll be able to speak English there and、mm. have a great time. And when you're on the trip, I hope you can see the sea creatures that we talked about、uh-huh, today. Ah, right.、Yes. Remember those names, okay? For example, a swordfish. <laughs> yes. Okay, we'll see you next time, everybody. Take care. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs>